the Carretera Austral in rural Patagonia, known as one of the most scenic roads for adventure seekers in South America. In this episode, I hike from Argentina into Chile in order to start my hitchhiking adventure on the Carretera Austral from south to north. I'm in no man's land on my way to the starting point of the Carretera Austral. This is uh, Villa O'Higgins in Chile, but yeah, I'm at the moment in between. So after taking a bus to that point up there and crossing the Lago del Desierto with a boat, I'm now on the Camino to Candelario Mancilla, which is about 17 kilometers. And I guess I will hate myself because of all the luggage I have to carry up there, or first carry up and then carry down. So, let's see how exhausting it is. We finished the steepest part and now we are having a nice tea at a, I guess it's a campsite. This is Simon, say hi to Simon. <laughs> And we have like oh, um, three hours ahead and it's a pretty nice walk, the weather is good. And now we are uh, on the border, we are crossing the border here. In between there's nothing than two signs saying hello to Argentina and over there hello and welcome to Chile where we are going. In this area, hiking is the only possibility to get from Argentina into Chile. We arrived at the farm Candelario Mancilla in the evening, where we were able to rent a room for the night. Good morning from Candelario Mancilla on the O'Higgins Lake, which we will cross to get to Villa O'Higgins in the afternoon, the starting point of the Carretera Austral. But first of all, a nice coffee with a nice view. In summer, you are able to cross the picturesque O'Higgins Lake two to three times per week per boat to get to Villa O'Higgins. Good morning guys from Villa O'Higgins. It's very early in the morning. It's around 7 and this is because I tried to get a hitch um, for, the, for the first ferry which is at about 11 or 9, I'm not really sure. Um, and they said it's the best time to go very early out of the town to have good chances. So I hope I am lucky. Well, I have not been lucky, as this is the dead end of the road, there were literally no cars, so I spent the day in Villa O'Higgins and took the bus on the next day to get to Cochrane. After around 300 kilometers with the bus from Villa O'Higgins, I arrived in Cochrane. And this is the first real city on the way. And um, the first paved roads I see actually. And I decided because it's really early in the afternoon to try to continue with hitchhiking to Puerto Rio Tranquilo. So my first driver for the Carretera Austral was Jose and he dropped me off at this place. It's also not that bad to camp here, but um, I tried to get a ride today to continue to Puerto Rio Tranquilo. It's now like 7 and the chances are not so bad because it's Friday. So a lot of people might go to the big city Kowaike on Fridays. So I might get another ride. I didn't have to wait long, as after a few tries, 
the American couple John and Joanna took me to the next intersection of the road. After waiting around 30 minutes for my next lift, a school bus took me to Puerto Rio Tranquilo, which is located on the General Carrera Lake. Puerto Rio Tranquilo. It's 8 o'clock in the afternoon and or in the evening and um, I made it with only three rides. The first one was with, um, with Jose from Cochrane to the middle of nowhere. The second one was with John and Joanna, an American couple which drove me through the intersection to Puerto Rio Tranquilo and the last part, the last hour, I drove with Pato who lives over there. So tomorrow boat excursion and maybe I stay one more night because this place is just amazing and really calm. In the next episode I will visit the marble caves of Puerto Rio Tranquilo and continue hitchhiking to the mall. So Stay tuned and see you soon. Before you leave, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up and check out the other videos from South America.